Well, hello, everybody. This episode is coming to you from an early morning hour on the uh, southern coast of Delaware. Uh, I'm going to pan real quick and just show you what I'm seeing here. This is uh, uh, some beautiful homes. We're staying as uh, guests of some friends of ours down here. And uh, there's a boat going out, and the ocean is really, uh, I guess, about a quarter mile on the other side of those trees. I found this uh, little inlet right here, and I'm getting ready to go down there and get some early morning exercise, and I saw this sign saying, slow, no wake. And let me tell you what, I'm, I saw slow, I don't like going slow. <laughs> slow bothers me. Uh, even in a kayak, I like to go fast, but I prefer power. But you know what? In your business, slow is not always good. I know uh, in school we learn to plan, we learn slow, we learn deliberate, methodical steps is the best way, and that is not always the best way. Sometimes what's called for is massive action. And massive action is the ability to implement on many fronts, on multiple projects, simultaneously, not sequentially. Now, the key strategy is, and this is kind of a mindset hurdle that you need to get over. Anybody that's done massive action, it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit scary, and it's also a little bit messy. Uh, Dan Kennedy has an expression that says, uh, success always leaves a messy kitchen, and that's because you're doing fast things, mul multiple events, launching multiple projects simultaneously, not in any very neat order, okay? So if you're thinking of uh, writing a book next year, maybe you're thinking of getting out an e-book, and next month you're going to write a special report, and maybe you're going to finally launch your blog, and then what else are you going to do? Oh, you're going to talk about doing a JV next quarter. You know what? Scratch all of the calendars on those and get them done. Hey, how, here's an idea. How about getting your book done in 30 days? How about launching that special report tomorrow or the next day? And how about reaching out to a few people before you close up shop today and get that JV going? You know what? People that implement massive action, multiple projects simultaneously, those are the people that are achieving higher levels of success and higher levels of growth. And yes, it does leave a messy kitchen. I want to share with you before we close out here, and I got to blast down this beautiful waterway here. One of the things you need to get used to is that good is good enough. Again, I go back to my days in school, and it's like there's a certain style of writing, and everything has to be polished, and heaven forbid there's a spelling or grammar. Now, you want your projects, you want your writings, you want your books to be as good as possible, yes. But if you keep striving for absolute perfection, zero mistakes, nothing gets done. The book will never get launched. I heard Bill Glazer speak once, and he said, listen, if your book's on the bookshelf, and it's got a couple spelling mistakes, and it's a good cover, and people are compelled to buy it, you sold a book. If your book is still in your word processor, and you're looking and scrounging for every last error, nobody's going to buy it. The idea, folks, is to make money. So get a thick skin. Somebody may shoot you an email. Somebody may call you and talk about, oh, I found an error. Well, you know what? Correct it for the next thing. Correct it for the next printing of books. Get it done. Clean up your mess later. Plow forward. Don't be afraid to leave no wake. In fact, I want you to leave a wake. Get cranking. Crank up the speed. Change every deadline you have and push it up and start implementing on multiple projects simultaneously. And I guarantee this time next year you're going to have higher levels of success. This is Jim Palmer, the News Network Guru. I can't wait to see you next episode. I'm going to go get some early morning exercise, and I am going to leave awake, even in my kayak. Take care, everybody.